this tank lies an ecosystem with a built-in water feature. Stink bugs and isopods occupy the desert floor while the geckos play in the canopies. But lurking in the shadows is a monster. This is a desert paludarium. I started off with a 36 inch bearded dragon tank. Then I got some two inch foam and I cut some strips out of it. This is gonna make the shelf of my cliffside. Then I traced out where I wanted to cut it and shape the foam. Once I shaped the foam, I then sanded it down to make it look more like sandstone. I adhered it to the back of the tank using silicone. Now I designed the layout of how I wanted my rock shelf to be. Using spray foam, I filled in all of the gaps. Now I'm gonna silicone where I'm gonna have my divider for the water feature. I use plexiglass as it can bend. Using rocks to hold it in place, this seemed legit. For the water feature, I used a T. I wanted the waterfall in two different places. Then I filled it up with water to test for leakage. And there's no leaks, so we're gonna continue on. Now I'm gonna take a beer can and cut the top off to make a plant holder. Right here is where I made the biggest mistake of this tank. I covered up the power cable with foam. In my mind, I wanted to hide it, but now I have no way of replacing the pump. Right there is the first waterfall exit. I hide the tubing with foam. Now we're going to cover the entire sides with spray foam. Gently placing in your plant holders and foaming over them will provide a nice look. Now I'm going to add some wood so that these critters can get from the bottom floor to the top floor. Using a knife, I shaped out the foam. I'm now using a wood burning tool to carve out lines in my rock. Using dry lock basement waterproof paint and charcoal paint, I gave this thing three coats of black. This is gonna ensure that it is waterproof. Once that dries, I added brown into my dry lock and I gave it some brown highlights. Now this looks good, but I think it needs more highlights with the lighter color. Now right here is where the plexiglass meets the glass and you can see where the silicone is smushed up against it so I'm going to paint over this. I'm also going to paint the side of the tanks where you can see the spray foam adhered to. It's going to give it a much cleaner look. Now time to add base. I used sphagnum moss, cocoa fiber, and topped it off with sand. I put this cactus here but I'll later remove it. Filling it up with water to make sure the waterfalls work. Now it's time to add my bugs. I added stink bugs, isopods, and millworms. As you can see, the isopods have already taken up home in the cave. Now I'm going to go outside and get some leaf litter and just spread this around the tank. Gives it a more natural look. Then I added a misting system, and it gives it a pretty good effect when the lights are all off. Now it's time to add our geckos. These guys are not supposed to be in here, but I haven't finished their tank yet. As you can see, the male gecko wants to just get jiggy with it. And he chases her around the tank all day long. 
I even added in some blue-tailed skinks. Everybody seems to get along pretty happy. Here you can see all four lizards, different species, just bathing in the sun. Sometimes my gecko turns green. I think that means he's happy. Now this guy escaped, and I don't know how, but he was going after these fruit flies. And when I tried to catch him, he bit onto my finger. Now this didn't hurt, but the damn thing wouldn't let go. So it was time to make them their own cage. You'll see this build in another video. Once the geckos were out, I added the apex predator. This is my now monitor, Coda. I added a rock in front of the cave. I also took out the cactus because it was leaving splinters in Coda. Coda really seems to like the chicken hearts. She also likes dead minnows. See how she uses her tongue to sniff out what she wants? And then she attacks it. She's very shy and doesn't want me to hold her yet. But we're working on that. Now I have more projects already underway. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single one. I'll see you in the next one.